I'm going to go ahead and sign in to Office 365. And that takes me to my student email, which is a really handy place to be. There are other programs we can use here at Office 365. To see those, we touch the little squares in the top left corner to see all the programs Microsoft gives us on the internet. What if I really like this website and I want to save a shortcut to Office 365 to my start screen? Well, I touch the three dots here in the bottom right hand corner and it brings up the websites I'm on right now. One of them is the student web portal and one of them is Office 365. If I want to switch back to the student web portal, I simply touch that screen. To make a shortcut for that web page, if I want to keep it handy on the start menu, I can touch the star, and the star is going to give me a couple of options there. The one that's really handy is this little pin. If we press that, it lets us pin it to the start. Now, I don't know why it says my whole name and everything, but one thing that's fun about that is you can change it. I'm going to make this short and simple. O365. Because Office 365 is a place I want to go a lot. If I press pin to start, it makes that a shortcut for me under favorites. And if I hit the start menu, I can see that all the way over here I've made a favorite for Office 365. What if I don't want it there? I can press and hold and move it somewhere else. Maybe I want it right here next to my internet because I use Office 365 so much. You can do the same thing with any other program. You can also adjust the size. I really like fresh paint, but I don't think I need a button that big. So if I press and hold fresh paint, it lets me resize it. I'm going to make it medium sized. And there you go.